So you're ready to start shopping for your new home. Where do you start? Is there a way to make sure you don't miss anything and don't overpay? There sure is. I'm gonna tell you all about it and we are starting right now. Hi, I'm Jessica Janang with Realty One Group Southwest. And I'm Chris Janon. We are a husband and wife real estate team that left the casino industry to turn Jessica's part-time real estate business into our full-time family business. If you want to see more videos like this one, please subscribe to our channel below and click the bell icon as well and you'll be notified when we post new videos, which is every Wednesday. Okay, so I've got my Havana White over here. <laughs> In the first two steps of this series, we learned how to hire a great realtor and how to shop for a mortgage. Now you're ready to start shopping for homes. We share a common goal, and that is to help you find a great home, while at the same time, make sure you don't miss anything and make sure you don't pay too much. To accomplish this goal, we have implemented what we call a funnel process. Now we didn't just come up with this system. This process was first developed by Larry Kendall in Colorado, a real estate broker and trainer. And the result is countless, countless happy clients across the country. It's a really great system. So here is the nifty funnel. The idea of the funnel is after discussing what kind of property you're searching for, we put everything that could possibly work into the funnel. Then we use the easy process of elimination rather than the more complicated process of selection. First, in the funnel we put anything that you may have seen on your own from real estate websites or even driving around into the top of the funnel. The funnel allows us to narrow down our property search. We keep our parameters very broad. For example, you don't want to eliminate a three bedroom home with an office because we were only searching for four bedroom homes. We wanna keep it very broad to make sure that we don't miss anything. So into the funnel, the properties go. We also might wanna consider putting new construction homes into the funnel. Sometimes when inventory is low or when we can't find what you're looking for in the resale market, you might be interested in considering new construction, so we want to make sure we don't rule that out. Next is for sale by owner. If you see a for sale by owner that looks interesting, we want you to feel comfortable telling us about it. Many times the owners of, of for sale by owner are willing to work with us. The last to go into the funnel if you're interested in them is foreclosures and short sales. I started my career back in the foreclosure crisis selling almost exclusively foreclosures, so I'm happy to help you navigate that process. It's not as complicated as some people think, but it is different than a traditional sale, and there is a few different things to know about it. After all of these properties are in the funnel, we start the process of eliminating the ones that don't work. Some of these properties we'll simply look at online. Some of them will drive by and the ones that you like best will make appointments to take a look inside. The goal is to narrow down the search to a rolling top three. So if you have a top three and you find a property that you like better than one in your current top three, you can substitute. After you've identified your top three, we'll do a competitive market analysis, a CMA, to see what we recommend the value of the property to be if you want to write an offer, so we make sure that you're not paying too much. The home buying process can be quite stressful, but this process is designed to help you be clear and confident in your home buying decision. Okay, so that concludes our third step in the home buying process, which is searching for homes. Uh, the next video in this series is going to be writing an offer, so we're gonna tell you all about that. Thanks so much for watching our video, and don't forget to subscribe. Till next time, bye.